Was a scary technical breakthrough the reason for Sam Altman's firing? Welcome back to the AI Breakdown. After a few days off and the Thanksgiving holiday for those of you in the U.S., we're coming back to add a little capstone to the story of the saga of OpenAI and the firing and rehiring of Sam Altman that happened last week. Now, one of the things that was very confusing throughout the entire event was what possibly could have spooked the board so much that they would have made this move. People assumed at first that it must have been something dramatic, either a major breach of ethics in some crazy way that was destined to come out very soon, or some incredible technical advance that just scared the crap out of the board, which they didn't think that Sam was handling well. People went into overdrive trying to figure out what that advance might be. They were reading the tea leaves of different comments and appearances that Sam had made in the weeks leading up to the event, including one where he himself suggested that there had been some major breakthrough recently that represented a significant advance in what AIs could do. And yet, at the same time, over the first weekend of the whole drama, when former Twitch CEO Emmett Shear was appointed as the new interim CEO, his announcement about taking the position made it clear that the board had not fired Sam because of specific safety disagreements, but more around broader questions of trust and communication. This seemed really strange, as the safety explanation was the only one that kind of made sense. Now, the idea that it wasn't about safety seemed to be reinforced when chief scientist Ilya Sutskever switched sides once again and said that he was sorry for his role in the firing of Sam Altman, and then even went so far as to sign the letter demanding his return. And ultimately, when all was said and done, and we got the new board structure, we got Sam and Greg agreeing to not be on the initial board, we got the replacements in Brett Taylor and Larry Summers, as well as the continuity in Adam D'Angelo, there was still no good explanation of what had actually happened. In fact, not only was there no good explanation, we had learned that quietly behind the scenes, that very same Emmett Shear had demanded an explanation and said that if he couldn't get one, he would quit. This is all part of what led OpenAI to bring Sam back. Well, then right around the holiday on Wednesday night into Thursday, we got several reports that indeed there had been an AI breakthrough, and that was a big part of the reason for Sam Altman's firing. Reuters wrote, OpenAI researchers warned board of AI breakthrough ahead of CEO Ouster. The piece reads, Ahead of OpenAI CEO Sam Altman's four days in exile, several staff researchers wrote a letter to the board of directors warning of a powerful artificial intelligence discovery that they said could threaten humanity, two people familiar with the matter told Reuters. The sources cited the letter as one factor among a larger list of grievances by the board leading to Altman's firing, among which were concerns over commercializing advances before understanding the consequences. Reuters was unable to review a copy of the letter. The staff who wrote the letter did not respond to requests for comment. And then it gets even crazier. Continuing, after being contacted by Reuters, OpenAI, which declined to comment, acknowledged in an internal message to staffers a project called QSTAR and a letter to the board before the weekend's events. An OpenAI spokesperson said that the message sent by longtime executive Mira Murati alerted staff to certain media stories without commenting on their accuracy. Some at OpenAI believe QSTAR could be a breakthrough in the startup search for what's known as AGI. Given vast computing resources, the model was able to solve certain mathematical problems, and though only performing math on the level of grade school students, acing such tests made researchers very optimistic about QSTAR's future success. Reuters could not independently verify the capabilities of QSTAR claimed by the researchers. The information had a similar report. They added, the technical breakthrough spearheaded by OpenAI chief scientist Ilya Sutskever raised concerns among some of the staff that the company didn't have proper safeguards in place to commercialize such advanced AI models. In the following months, senior OpenAI researchers used the innovation to build systems that could solve basic math problems, a difficult task for existing AI models. Jacob Pachaki and Sizimon Sidor, two top researchers, used Sutskever's work to build a model called QSTAR that was able to solve math problems that it hadn't seen before, an important technical milestone. A demo of the model circulated within OpenAI in recent weeks, and the pace of development alarmed some researchers focused on AI safety. The information also took the story farther into explaining the different sides in the issue. Basically, they argued that Ilya was concerned about his breakthrough, but that these two researchers who had taken and run with it had different feelings, which is why they exited the company so quickly after Altman was fired. The information also said that Greg Brockman had been working to integrate the new QSTAR technique into additional products as well. Now, going back to Reuters, here's how they described where the concern might come from. They write, Researchers consider math to be a frontier of generative AI development. Currently, generative AI is good at writing and language translation by statistically predicting the next word, and answers to the same question can vary widely. But conquering the ability to do math, where there is only one right answer, implies AI would have greater reasoning capabilities resembling human intelligence. 
This could be applied to novel scientific research, for instance, AI researchers believe. In their letter to the board, researchers flagged AI's prowess and potential danger. The sources said without specifying the exact safety concerns noted in the letter. Researchers have also flagged work by a, quote, AI scientist team, the existence of which multiple sources confirmed. The group formed by combining earlier cogen and mathgen teams was exploring how to optimize existing AI models to improve their reasoning and eventually perform scientific work. So what it seems like to me, taking a step back, is that there clearly have been technological breakthroughs in open AI. I don't think this should be surprising to any of us, unless we were assuming that somehow they were just sitting on their hands, not working on more advanced research ever since GPT-4 came out, which clearly wasn't the case. Now, as it seems, the nature of those updates divided the company on questions of safety and ethical development. Again, this is not particularly surprising. In fact, one could argue that having robust debate inside the company is a potential guardrail on these technologies. Now, at the same time, what it doesn't seem like is the case, and again, this is to a completely uninformed outside observer who's just watching what's available and what's trickled out, it doesn't seem to me like it's likely, like these technological advances were so breakthrough in and of themselves, that they were for sure some sort of inflection point or frontier crossing moment. What I come back to is the fact that Ilya switched sides at the end of the day. Now, to the extent that these developments were part of the reason that he wanted to help create and then run the super alignment team that started over the summer, that's an indication that he took it very seriously. And clearly, there is tension internally around how Sam specifically is thinking about the commercialization of these technologies and the speed with which they get deployed. But ultimately, the fact that Ilya came back suggests to me that we are still just on another step on this continuum towards AGI, not as some had speculated that we suddenly had AGI sitting in the closet just waiting to be released. Now, adding more intrigue to all of this, after these stories came out in Reuters and the Information, The Verge published a response that actually went back on some of this. Quote, After the publishing of the Reuters report, which said senior exec Mira Murati told employees that a letter about QSTAR precipitated the board's actions to fire Sam Altman last week, OpenAI spokesperson Lindsay Held Bolton refuted that notion in a statement shared with The Verge. Mira told employees what the media reports were about, but she did not comment on the accuracy of the information. Separately, a person familiar with the matter told The Verge that the board never received a letter about such a breakthrough and that the company's research progress didn't play a role in Altman's sudden firing. So here we have The Verge with their own source saying that the board never got that letter and that that wasn't part of the firing, and also a refutation of the idea that even if that letter did exist, it was what precipitated this dramatic action. Now, in the meantime, speculation around exactly what QSTAR is has just been absolutely rampant. On the OpenAI community boards, Rainey 107577 writes, The cat's out of the bag. Reuters published. Any interpretations? Any knowledge files out there on the subject? Others responded. M4 Calic writes, Definitely makes me question Sam's motives and puts the recent drama in a different light. This is moving towards more existential questions faster than anyone imagined. And I'd rather not have Microsoft, Larry Summers, and the ex-CEO of frickin' Salesforce making the calls whether or not something is AGI. Now, on the flip side, QRDL writes, As someone who's done a fair amount of ML and AI research, I can tell you that it is very, very easy to think you've discovered a breakthrough. There's a great deal of cognitive bias in AI, and you have to falsify very aggressively. I am deeply skeptical. It's also worth noting that in the news today, we found out that the 86 billion share sale is back on. I'm sure this quote-unquote breakthrough will get investors quite interested. Now, the implication there, of course, is that in the wake of all of this chaos, the team at OpenAI had been trying to right the ship when it came to the tender sale, where employees were going to be able to cash out some of their stock at an $86 billion valuation. And the skepticism in that community post is, of course, that they have very strong incentives to get investors excited again, which might have led to the confirmation or the leaks of QSTAR. Now, others tried to speculate around what QSTAR might be. Samuel Hammond wrote, I discussed Q Transformers and Q Learning as one of the more promising areas of AI research. The news that OpenAI's breakthrough involves something called Q Star suggests it's related. Q Learning is a class of reinforcement learning and not new. However, there's been recent progress in combining Q Learning with Transformers and LLMs. Tesla uses Deep Q Learning for self driving, for example. There's even speculation that Google's long awaited Gemini model employs a version of it. Q Star refers to the optimal action function. Finding QSTAR involves training an agent to take actions that maximize its cumulative reward given its environment. OpenAI has a team working on reasoning and planning, so that was inevitable that they'd pivot back to reinforcement learning. This could be what spooked the board, as all the scariest Eliezer Yudkowsky style scenarios involve reinforcement learning in some form or another. Q learning is a model free approach to reinforcement learning, as it can work even if the environment is complex and randomly changing, rather than requiring a set of well defined rules like chess. 
Q-Learning is popular for single-agent games as, by default, it models other agents as simply features in its environment to navigate around, rather than as distinct agents with their own internal states. Note, this is also the basic definition of sociopathy. If OpenAI has made major strides in giving their transformer models a cue to optimize for, that would explain what Sam meant when he said today's GPTs, their quasi-agents, would soon look quaint. Finding Q-star is equivalent to having the best possible Markov decision process. In other words, no matter what life throws your way, you always find a way to win. Back on that community forum, Wayland Lab said something similar, writing, Q-learning is an algorithm that helps an agent learn the best actions to take in a given state to maximize a reward. That's it, pretty much. Now, I'm not going to read the whole piece because it's like a thousand words, but Dr. Jim Fan from NVIDIA writes, In my decades spent on AI, I've never seen an algorithm that so many people fantasize about. Just from a name, no paper, no stats, no product. So let's reverse engineer the Q-star fantasy. Adapai also did their own speculation. Q-star, they write, can solve grade school math problems. So what? What's the big deal? Why did researchers send the letter? Why did Ilya freak out? Because they continue, OpenAI already has a stack where they can predict intelligence based on compute and data. They disclose this with the GPT-4 release. Q-star is a relatively small model, solving grade school math problems reliably and consistently using reasoning. It's an algorithmic breakthrough. And they have the scaling graphs to predict the intelligence increase from data and compute, so they know they can probably solve elite human and beyond human problems. They don't have AGI yet, but they have a near-term roadmap. Now the question is whether to go down the path or not. Sam's reaction to this was to raise tens of billions of dollars to get a Johnny Ive device into people's hands and build data centers everywhere to deploy this tech as soon as possible. Now, very notably, Ada Pai followed this with the source I made it up meme, reinforcing that this is all speculation and just one of the scenarios that could explain all of this. Bindu Reddy writes something similar. The doomsday scenario for GPT-5 and OAI, she writes, so Q-Star is generalizing and is pretty good at high school level math. Q-Star is harmless, but GPT-5 will be way more powerful at logical reasoning, problem solving, and co-generation. It's being trained and evaluated on OAI superclusters. Part of the evaluation involves generating and executing code. It could generate a rogue piece of code that could hack into their supercomputer and then begin to take over the internet, some sort of computer virus. While this is far-fetched, it is possible. After all, you are giving a very powerful model access to a very powerful supercomputer. If anything, these are the type of doomsday scenarios you will see with these super LLMs. The good news is that they might cause some disruption, but won't pose anywhere near an X risk to civilization. Now, there's also even more rumors about an open AI model cracking something called AES-192 encryption, although I've seen no indications of any sort of confirmation of that, so I'll stay out of it. And we'll only add it as a note in this piece to recognize that the whole thing around this open AI dust-up, and now the Q-star explanation, is that it's causing people to play out in a bigger way the scenarios of what happens if AGI is a lot closer than we think. Later in the week, we'll maybe get to Jan LeCun for Meta's response to all of this. But for now, the story stays very interesting and very relevant, and I will do my best to stay on top of it. Thanks for listening or watching as always, and until next time, peace.